If you guys have been playing Zombies recently, you'll know how difficult and dangerous the tier 3 red zone on Urzikstan can be. Now pre-season 1, most rooftops were safe and you could just chill and repeat deliver cargo contracts over and over again to get schematics really fast, it was a nice simple life, however that's no longer the case. But in this video I'm going to be showing you all the current safe areas in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies in the tier 3 red zone so that you don't have to ever die again in this dangerous tier 3 zone, as there's plenty of safe places it's just people don't know about them. Now you may say there's plenty of Modern Warfare Zombies interactive maps online with safe areas, I can just use that but the issue with that is they are unfortunately outdated with many of these safe areas no longer actually safe so they're not accurate and therefore in this video i'm going to show you guys all the updated safe areas in one of zombies season two in the red zone including a great safe place to sit and keep grinding deliver cargo contracts over and over again easily like we did before so if you want help with any of that then definitely stay tuned and leave a like if you find this useful so that other people can find this video too before we carry on with the video if you're looking to permanently unlock the new one of three mastery camos or play in bot lobbies to max out your guns and unlock camos quickly or get your hands on an instant delivery pre-made account then be sure to check out mitchcactus.com these guys are the biggest and most reliable sellers with tons of offerings for Modern Warfare 3 with completely safe and legitimate services on all platforms so far they've almost 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot so if any of that sounds good to you guys then make sure to use code RAGER for 5% off for a limited time only check out the link in the description without further ado let's get straight into this guide I'll also show you guys a summary map towards the end of the video with all the safe places and places that aren't safe now I've split the different safe areas into four main areas depending on where they are in the tier 3 red zone so starting off with the south cluster at the bottom area we've got quite a few safe areas and the first one is the circular hut rooftop in the sea town area now this is kind of the south side of the tier 3 red zone and you can access this via parachuting from above or climbing onto an object such as a vehicle and then onto this roof now the zombies can't get you up here but you are risk of getting down from throwing meat at you so it's not suitable for a long time but it's just worth knowing that that is there especially if you need to like reload or heal a bit or just do something for a short while maybe just pop out quickly you've got got time to do that for a little while with this rooftop. The next one is a house rooftop again in Sea Town, and here the zombies cannot get to you. They can throw meat but the walls are very high around the roof so it's going to keep you well protected. It's a very safe area and you can either climb up from the ground or reach from above like parachuting or something like that. So this is a very good place to stay if you need to pop out either to the toilet or whatever it might be. This is useful. We've then also got a small hut rooftop near the Opal Palace. Now this hut is basically next to the deadbolt turret and at the bottom of the road leading up to the Opal Palace you'll find this hut. The zombies cannot reach you up here when you get onto it but they can unfortunately throw meat and because it's quite a small surface area and there's no walls to hide it's not the best location for a long time but it can be useful for a short time. Nearby to this you'll also find a digger in the courtyard specifically of the courtyard of the Opal Palace. This is a great area and I'll explain why. So at the bottom right of the courtyard you're going to find this digger and you can access the under part of the digger from either side. I'm sure at some point this will get patched but at the moment it hasn't been so you can crawl underneath it from either side and basically once you go prone and crawl inwards you will be safe from the zombies they can't throw meat at you and they can't hit you either the very outside part of the space under the digger the zombies can reach you but if you go slightly further in you will be safe and they can't get you at all they can't hit you they can't throw meat at you it's very very safe you can stay here for as long as you like and it's a great place once you're finished you should be able to go out the other way from which you came in or if there's zombies blocking both areas you can always just throw something like a decoy grenade but the likelihood is you'll have one of the exits will be free so this is a fantastic place i have to go prone to you know um, about to pass XP or something or just if you need to go off for a little while and leave your game running. Finally in this south cluster of safe zones there is another circular hut rooftop in this opal palace courtyard. So it's top left of the courtyard and yet again you can access fire above or from climbing up from the ground. Same as before the zombies can't get to you but you're at risk of being hit by the meat so just try and go prone if you can. Round the back from where the zombies are normally is the best. So that's it for the south areas. What about the rest of the tier 3 red zone? Well in the northeast area we've got a few buildings so I'm first going to cover two buildings buildings that are next to each other which are very good. Near the northeast road coming into the tier 3 zone there's a cluster of three buildings. The bottom left of the three on the map or back right in person if you're looking at it you need to enter this building through the side door. So what you want to do is go upstairs and round to the right into the next room and there'll be a ladder here upstairs. You want to climb the ladder up to the top floor and then you want to kind of jump round to the outside roof. Now once you're there the zombies can get you but if you jump across to the building opposite which I'm going to call building one it's got like a corrugated iron roof. If you go over there the roof rooftop cannot be accessed via zombies but unfortunately they can access the rooftop you were just on and throw meat across at you. Basically be wary of the meat because they can throw it if they're up there and this can be dangerous unless you hide in the little shelter on that roof but even then it's not 100% safe so I'd recommend going across to the adjacent building rooftop which is basically building two. Now once you jump across from the rooftop onto this second building it's completely inaccessible by zombies they can't get up here. They can throw meat across but it's got a large surface area it's got a very small wall around the edge but 
I'd recommend if you hide behind the billboard sign in the corner, the meat can't get you. So you'll be completely safe from the meat and from any zombies too. So if you go there, it's 100% safe and it's a very good area to hide if you're in this sort of northeast area of the red zone and you need somewhere to hide. Alternatively, not too far away from this, there is a radio tower, which is on the grass hill at the north of the red zone. So to use this, what you want to do is get to the base of the tower, obviously climb the ladders to the top. It's not a large surface area, but it's very high up and the zombies are unable to reach you, but there is a possibility of throwing meat, especially as you are climbing up. But once you're at the top, if you're kind of away from the edge or if you're prone, you will be 100% safe. They cannot climb up. They can't throw meat at you there and you'll be completely safe. Now, the top of the radio tower is actually also a portal location. So there'll be a code which you can see on the back of a dish. If you put in that code for the portal, you'll basically teleport to this location at the top of the radio tower. It's a nice safe place. And it's also a great location as you're kind of near the tier one and two zones. So if you kind of want to escape or exfil, you can quickly sort of parachute through the air to get there. Or alternatively, you can travel far safely from the air by parachuting off deep into the tier three zones. So you can kind of access other areas of the red zone safely from this radio tower without having to kind of navigate on foot or via the ground. As well as this, there's also a few circular huts in the northwest cluster. And it's kind of near the Nar bathhouse in the old town. So basically, there's two of these circular huts on the south side of the Nar bathhouse in old town. One on the left and one on the right. I'll show you where these guys are. And there's one in the courtyard of the Nar bathhouse, kind of right outside it. You can access these again via the air or from climbing up from the ground. And as before, the zombies can throw meat at you. So you want to be careful. They're not fantastic, but they are there if you need a little while to recover. But again, these aren't fantastic. So I wouldn't recommend it unless you have no other choice. Now, the last main area I want to talk about in the red zone is the kind of west cluster of safe zones. And there is literally so many safe areas here. It's untrue. So we're going to go through them all and then I'll explain kind of which ones are best. But there's loads of them here. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this bit as this is most likely going to be the most help to you guys for staying safe. So in this west cluster, first of all, we've got a, another circular hut rooftop. It's sort of in the old town patio square. And as before, you can access it from the sky or from climbing up and the zombies can throw meat at you. There's often a mega abomination nearby, but you're also in a good area because there's lots of stuff nearby, perks, contracts, that kind of thing. So it can be useful, but again, it's not 100% safe. So I wouldn't recommend staying there for a long time. Nearby to this, kind of next to the circular hut and by the old town square is a shack on the rooftop of an old town building. So what you want to do is climb kind of up the scaffolding on the side of this building, climb onto the crates up onto the rooftop. And once you get onto this first rooftop, the zombies can still get you here, unfortunately. But if you climb onto this little crate next to the shack and then up onto the rooftop of that shack, you'll be completely safe from the zombies. Now they can still throw meat here, but they can't reach you. And there's enough surface area that if you go prone, you should be safe. The meat shouldn't be able to get you. It's a great location as you're up high and you can kind of you know, parachute down if you need to. And there's also lots of other items and things nearby. So for example, lots of areas to loot. There's the Wonderfist machine nearby. You're near contracts, that kind of thing. So it's quite a useful area and I would recommend it if you are nearby, but we're not done there yet. There's plenty more other safe areas. So next is the Ether Nest building rooftop. Now next to this Wonderfist machine is a building with an ether nest. Now if you go onto this roof, you will be safe. Now the lower roof is not safe. Zombies can jump up here and throw meat. That's new because they couldn't do that before, but they now can, it's been changed. So they can jump up and throw meat at you. But if you jump onto the solar panel, you can then get up onto the upper roof where this is completely safe from zombies. They can still throw meat at you, but you've got a high wall and you can go prone. You'll be very, very safe from the zombies. And there's a large surface area as well. So this is a very safe and ideal location for sure. And it's easy to get to, which is good. We've then nearby to this got a building with a billboard. It's kind of on the rooftop of a building with a billboard near the Wonderfizz machine. And again, it's kind of near the old town square. There's a little safe area on top of this. So if you climb up the ladder, first of all, on this building to the roof, the first part of the rooftop, again, is not safe. But if you climb onto the shack of the rooftop, this is safe from the zombies. They can still throw meat, but it should be safe because again, you can go prone. The good thing is also, if you jump down onto the slightly lower rooftop on the other side of the shack, this is completely safe too. The zombies can't reach you. They can throw meat if they're on the higher roof, but this lower rooftop is completely safe because what you can do is you can hide behind the wall and then they can't see you at all. Even if you get right up close to them, they can see you, but they can't really throw the meat at you. So it's a very good safe spot because the zombies can't get to you and they can't throw meat at you. So we definitely recommend this back part, especially as it's easy to get to and it's very, very safe. Now, next up is a fantastic safe area, not too far away again. It's basically the top of the infested stronghold in the old town near the old town square. It's a very safe area. And to access it, what you need to do is jump onto the top of the car that's crashed into the bins, basically by the side of the stronghold, then hop onto the lower roof. Then you'll get up onto a middle roof. And then what you want to do is go to the edge of that, jump across onto the AC cooling fan unit, which is on the side of the building. And then once you jump up there onto the roof, you will access this massive rooftop. When you're up on the roof, the zombies can't currently get up at all. And they won't be bothered to throw meat unless you're near the edge. It's got a very large surface area. It's got medium height walls and you're very safe. So they can't get you at all. It's a fantastic area to hide. 
like one of the best, I'd say. It's also a great location as it's near the Wonder Fizz machine, so if you need any perks, or if you want to farm contracts like the Deliver Cargo contract, it's very nearby. So all you need to do is just parachute down into the Old Town Courtyard and activate the phone. It's kind of similar to that strategy before where basically you stayed on one of the other roofs and kind of parachuted down, collected the phone contract and kind of repeated that contract. It's similar to that because it's a very safe area and you can literally parachute down to it. It's not far at all. So this is one of the best ways to do contracts if you need to grind them in the tier three zone. It's completely safe and you're near lots of stuff, which is good. So this is, I would say this is probably the best new location to wait while you're grinding these tier three contracts if you're needing to get good schematic loot to unlock. The only thing is it's a little bit annoying to get up to because you have to jump onto that AC cooling fan unit. But once you've done it once, it should be fairly easy to do. Now, moving on in the old town near the southmost bridge, there is a house slash building with a hole in the wall of it. If you go there and climb up the ladder onto the roof, the rooftop is not completely safe. But if you jump up onto that little rooftop platform on it, it's partially safe. I say that because even though the zombies at the level of your feet, they still cannot reach you or hurt you directly, but they can throw meat at you. And it's a very risky area because you get lots of zombies lining up. They're all going to throw meat and you can get down quite easily. It's a risky area, but it's safe for a short time if you just need to like reload or put some armor on or something like that. Likewise, the bosses can come up and attack you. So I think I had a mimic come up onto the roof and basically was beaming me even though I was on that platform. So some of the special zombies can hurt you, but the normal zombies can't hurt you as easily. If you use this safe area, like I say, I recommend doing it for a short time or otherwise right behind this rooftop platform is another safe area. So if you just turn around in the sea town area near the southmost bridge, there is another circular hut rooftop, which again, you can access from above or below and the zombies can throw me to you, but it's good for a short time. If you still don't like that, there is another area nearby, which is an upper rooftop in the sea town area. So basically in sea town near the main south road and near the kind of circular hut, there's a multi-story building. If you run in the front door and up to the roof, you won't be safe. However, if you hop onto the roof on top of that top floor, you'll be completely safe. The zombies can throw meat, but again, it's got a large surface area. You can go prone, so you're relatively well protected here for a long time. So that's really good. I'd recommend that. But we're not done there. There is still lots more safe areas nearby. So next up in Sea Town, there is a building with large arches. From the ground, you want to climb up onto some crates and then onto the rooftop. The lower rooftop is not safe from zombies, but if you then hop up onto the middle or upper rooftops, they are safe from zombies. And the zombies won't even recognize you or throw meat at you for some reason. You're completely guarded and safe, and you can stay here as long as you like. Now, the only thing I'd know is that if zombies chase you from the other way up on this arched building, so if they come up from the other ladder and they get onto the taller buildings, they may be able to kind of hop down and attack you from behind, but this is not going to happen unless you bring the zombies that way. So if you happen to go up that way and they follow you, then they can get you on this area. But if you're coming from the way I've suggested, there won't be any zombies up there and therefore they're not going to get you. So that's really good. But next to here, there are lots and lots of safe areas, which are great. So let's go through them now. Next up is a front building in Sea Town. Just off the main south road, there's a large building with a ladder. If you climb up the ladder onto roof, that initial rooftop again is not safe. But once again, if you hop onto that rooftop platform, it's partially safe. Even though the zombies are at the level of your feet, they can't reach you or hurt you directly, but they can throw meat at you. And if they kind of line up, it can be quite risky. Also, bosses can attack you like before. So if you use this area, again, use it for a short time only, but it's just good to know about. Also, if you get up here, you can then jump across to some of the other buildings. Now, lastly, there is a cluster of about six rooftop buildings, which are all fantastic. They're easy to get to and they are safe. So I'm going to talk about them all and which ones are best now. This cluster of about six rooftops is in Sea Town. It's got on kind of the westmost side of the red zone. And there are more buildings in this kind of cluster than just these six safe ones. But the top left one and the top two on the right, as well as the bottom right one is not safe. Again, in a minute, I'll show you guys a summary of all the ones in this area that are safe because it can be a little bit confusing. So I'll show you which ones are and aren't safe. But it, basically, it's the six middle ones in this cluster. These can be accessed via lots of ways. So you can go up from a zip line from the front building with an arch. There's another building with a zip line as well. You can also jump across from other nearby buildings, or you can even climb up a ladder from one of the top left buildings i'll explain in a minute how to do that but the first rooftop on the far right of this area is a really good spot the zombies can access the lower rooftop with the solar panels via kind of the long building with the arches that we mentioned earlier they can run onto that jump down onto this lower rooftop at the back of the building cluster but if you're on the rooftop slightly higher up from that the zombies will try and climb up to you but there's an invisible barrier preventing them from climbing up so they'll just keep trying to climb up over and over again but they cannot reach you so you're 100 safe from being hit directly and you should be largely safe from meat being thrown at you because there's lots of walls to hide behind you can go prone there's a large surface area this is another really good zone if you're in this area i'd highly recommend it and like i said the zombies cannot climb up here next to this we've got two rooftops one of them is like an l shape and one of them is like a sideways l shape and these are both safe from zombies getting you but the zombies can get close via the adjacent unsafe rooftops next to them there's two like square shaped rooftops that they can get onto and so if they get up here and look across at you they can obviously throw meat at you it can be quite risky so i wouldn't recommend staying for long there's not loads of walls or anything to hide behind so it's not the best but it is a safe area to recover for a short time but if you don't want to go onto these that's absolutely fine because there's a few other rooftops which are safe so next to these rooftops four and five are also safe from zombies getting
getting to you. I didn't experience zombies throwing any meat at me here, and obviously they can't get you directly, but there was a mangler on the ground which happened to see me and shoot his cannon at me. So as long as you go prone, there is a low wall and there's a large surface area, you'll be completely safe from that. I think it's more just if there's like special zombies nearby. Zombies may throw meat, but I didn't have that when I was there. So largely you'll be completely safe in this area. There's also a very small connected window with like a roof on top, which is connected to this building that oddly has a zombie spawning on it quite often, but they don't seem bothered by you. They can't see you. They don't try and throw meat at you or hit you or anything like that. When I was in the game, it was a hellhound, but I know normal zombies can spawn there too. So I wouldn't worry about that. You should be safe from them too. And last we've got the sixth rooftop, which is kind of like on the left. You can access this either from jumping from adjacent rooftops or from climbing up the ladder in the top left building in the sea town cluster of buildings. So this top left building is not safe from the zombies as they can climb up. But if you then jump across onto that rooftop, it's safe. The zombies can throw meat, but you can go prone. You've got walls and stuff to hide behind a large surface area. So it is safe. So those are all the safe areas in the Monofer 3 Zombies Tier 3 Red Zone in Erzakstan at the moment as of Season 2. I'll update you guys if there are any changes. I'm sure at some point some of these will get patched, but for now there is still loads of safe areas. So if you feel like there's not a lot of places to go, now you know that's not at all correct. There is tons of places that you will be safe to go. Some of them completely safe, some of them partially safe, but a lot of them are useful, at least for just replenishing so you don't go down. I'll show you guys a map as well of a summary of all the areas that are safe. Maybe you might want to have a look at this and save this. It's just kind of a useful summary. You can basically see from this that most of them are in the sort of sea town slash old town area on the west side of the red zone. There's a few to the south, a few to the north, but mainly they are in this sort of sea town old town cluster, which is quite useful. But that's good because it's near contracts, near perks, that kind of stuff, not too far from the pack a bunch machine. So again, it's all quite useful. But I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video so that other people can find this video too. Check out my other Modern Warfare 3 season 2 videos like how to level up the battle pass fast, how to level up weapons, zombies guides, camo guides, DLC weapon unlock guides, that kind of thing and if you guys have got any other zombies guides you want me to cover then be sure to leave a comment and i'll get around to it thank you for watching hope you guys found it useful and i'll see you all on the next one